Hello guys, welcome to Tech Trick Tutorial and in today's video, I will be showing you on how you could go ahead and do CapCut graphics. This is a step-by-step -step guide so you should be able to follow easily. So before we head over to the video, you can also do all of these logos inside Canva. Just an example, let's go ahead and open up Canva right here. And inside, for example, we want our son to be the motion of this animation. So you can just go ahead and search for sun right here. Go ahead and click on graphics. And from here, you can then go ahead and find this sun that you want to animate. For example, we have this one. You could just go ahead and import any graphics that you want inside of Canva. Now that's out of the way, let's go back to our CapCut right here. And I will be leaving this media at the description box below. First things first, you want to import the black grid background into our timeline. And we are also going to import the sun and clouds, which is this one. Now, to remove the color green around the sun, you want to go ahead and click on the mask option. It's right below the video properties right here. We are specifically looking for the mask option, so just go ahead and click on it. And inside, we have our chroma key. You want to enable the chroma key right here. Click on color picker. And you want to select the color green into our background, which is this one. Right after, the color green to our background will disappear. In here, you could adjust this the way you want to. And we are going to animate this cloud transitioning into our screen right here. So you want to do the same thing for our clouds. Go ahead and click on cut out, chroma key, and from here you want to select the color green. And so right after to make our background better, we are going to add this effects called black noise. So you want to click on the effects category and inside of course you want to search for black noise. You can just go ahead and choose any one of these black noises right here. But in my case, I'll be choosing the second one. You want to hold click this effect and drag it into our background, which is the black grid background. Right after, we now have the black noise into our background right here, as you can go ahead and see. So in this video, we are going to use keyframes to make the animation. First things first, you want to move your clouds at the corner of your screen right here. And you want to select the cloud and you want to select the opacity to 15. So just go ahead and click on the blend section, reduce the opacity to 15%. And from here, we are going to make an animation. Once again, inside the video properties, you want to click on position and size. And right after, just move 40 frames from our timeline right here. And from here, you want to move your clouds at the center of your screen. Set the opacity to 100%. And right after adjusting your cloud, you can just go ahead and proceed by clicking on our sun. And inside, we want to select the opacity and we are going to add another keyframe. Right after adding a keyframe, you want to set the opacity to 0%. And from here, just go ahead and move 20 frames backward. And right after, you want to set the opacity to 100%. And it will automatically add a keyframe. And if we play out the video, it will go ahead and look something like this. Well, now that we're done with the simplest animation, we are now ready to proceed to the second one. Now for our second animation, we are going to animate the plane going around the earth right here. So since I've already added the plane icon and also the earth icon and we have also put the black noise background effect into our image right here we are going to drag our plane and our earth into our timeline and inside we are going to use once again the chroma key so just go ahead and select chroma key click on color picker and from here you want to do the same thing for the rest of your images Right after, you want to position the sun below our background image right here. And we are going to add a text where we are going to animate a plane going around like this one. So you could just go ahead and hide this plane because we are not going to need this as of the moment. And from here, we are going to select the text icon. 
click on add text and you want to select the default one right here import it into our timeline and you want to type this specific character so you want to add this multiple lines right here and right after you want to scroll down until you find the curve into the properties select on curve and from here you want to curve this where you want your plane to move in so for example i want my plane to move this way so i'll just go ahead and curve it at 176 percent right after you want to right click our text click on create compound clip and from here you want to select video click on mask and we are specifically choosing the horizontal mask rotate it into 180 degrees pull it down so you don't see the line and you want to set the feather to 4. Move your key head at the beginning of our compound clip. Click on the rotation. Click on keyframe on rotation. Click on keyframe on rotation. Then move play head to around 4 second mark. And right after you want to move the keyframe at the 4 second mark. And from here, you want to rotate your horizontal mask back to 180 degrees. And right after, this animation will turn out like this one. So guys, the only thing left to do now is to animate our plane going around the planet Earth. So you want to go back to the beginning of our clip right here. Put your plane at the beginning of our text right here. And you want to play this little by little. So you want to add the keyframe on our plane graphic. Just go ahead and click on the keyframe into the position and size. Play the video. Just go ahead and move the video for a couple of frames. In my case, I'll be moving it every four frames. So let's just go ahead and count four frames right here. One, two, three, four. Once that's done, you want to move the plane into another position. Rotate it according to the trail right here. Once again, remove the time head at your certain frame. In my case, it's going to be 4 frames right here. And basically, you want to repeat this until you completed the full animation. And right after, the animation should look like this. And so guys, with this simple tutorial, you can now go ahead and edit simple animations like this one. If this video has been helpful for you, please consider by liking and subscribing. I'll make sure to see you again next time, and as always, thank you.